Whenever I start learning about a new subject, you know, the first thing I want to know is what's the subject about? What, it, what is it I'm going to be learning here? So I have a definition of statistics here on the screen. Statistics is the practice of working with large data sets, sets that are just too big to really understand on their own. For example, you know, I could give you a list of three different prices for an iPhone, and it wouldn't be hard for you to understand what the numbers represent and to make decisions based on those numbers. On the other hand, you know, if you had a list of 200 NBA players' free throw percentages, that's too much information for a person to process. To understand that kind of data and draw conclusions from it, we need some more specialized tools. Now, developing and using those tools are a big part of statistical analysis. So before we move on to looking at some of those techniques and methods, I want to talk for a minute about some of the branches of statistics. Statistics can be grouped into two distinct categories. On the one hand, you have data collection. This branch is focused on developing reliable methods for collecting data to study. And on the other hand, we have data analysis. Now, this is the branch that focuses on analyzing and working with the data after it's been collected. Now, I've presented them here as two separate categories, but it's important to keep in mind that they're actually closely related and, and work closely together. For example, tools from the data analysis side are used by the data collection side to answer questions like, what's the minimum sample size that we need to be confident in our results? Now, the data analysis side can be further broken up into descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. The descriptive side is interested in taking large data sets, like those free throw percentages I mentioned, and summarizing them. For example, this is the branch that uses techniques like averages and percentiles and various charts to try to distill large sets of numbers into you know, a single number, like an average, or a picture, like a, a graph or a chart. Then the inferential side of statistics it kind of goes in the other direction, where descriptive dist statistics takes a data set and tries to shrink it down to a single number or a single graphic. Inferential statistics takes a sample from a population, that same large data set, and tries to use that sample to make inferences about the whole population. For example, when you hear a news reporter say that 45% of voters favor a candidate, that number isn't based on asking every voter their preference is based on the opinions of a sample of voters taken from the population. Inferential statistics is focused on developing the tools needed to make that kind of statement with a predictable degree of accuracy. So now that we have an idea of the scope and range of statistics, in our next lecture, we'll start looking at the process that people who do statistical analysis like medical researchers and pollsters and you know even business people like financial analysts for example the process that these people follow when they're doing their research and their data analysis